Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to crack open the Garrick vs Liliana dual decks here. So, very cool, very excited to check this out. So, what do we get here? Two ready to play 60 card decks, two deck boxes, strategy insert and learn to play guide. And apparently these are green and black planeswalkers. We get eight rare cards, six cards with new artwork, including foil alternate art versions of Garrick Wildspeaker and Liliana Vess. And I like how the box is all shiny like so. So let's move these guys aside and get cracking here. So is this a deck that you picked up back in the day? Or something you'd like to check out? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, so it's really stuck down here. And when did this come out? Looks like 2009. Whoa! So this is like 10 years old. Okay, we've got something in here. There's some deck boxes. Let's set these cards aside and the decks. Okay, so a whole bunch of stuff here. So we get the deck box for Garrick Wild Speaker. And of course, he is back in Throne of Old Rain. We got the Liliana Vest deck box. Okay, and let's take a look at the cards here. So these are both foils. Garrick Wild Speaker, Planeswalker Garrick. Three loyalty for four. He's a mythic. Plus one untap, two target lands, minus one put a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token onto the battlefield. Minus four creatures you control get plus three plus three and gain trample until end of turn. Alright, so that will be interesting to check out. And then the Liliana here. Liliana vs. Planeswalker Liliana, another mythic, five loyalty for five. The plus one target player discards a card, minus two search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. Minus eight, put all creature cards and all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. All right, so they are a little, little bent with the years here, so keep that in mind. It is an older set of decks, so what do we have here? Nice poster. Whoa, okay, this is larger than usual. Planeswalker game rules. Planeswalker abilities and fighting a planeswalker. So a whole bunch of info there. What is this? Garrick versus Liliana. Okay, so they're talking about planeswalkers and this deck in particular. A bit of backstory there. So check it out. Very curious about the lore myself. Okay, and now... Green magic is all about tooth and claw ferocity. So a lot of details there about that one. And here's the deck list. So we've got cards from Urza's Saga, Mercadian Masks, Onslaught, Nemesis. Okay, so a whole bunch of older sets. And if you wanted to make this deck yourself, I'm sure you could put it together from these parts. And instantly, I think this was about 65 bucks or thereabouts, or 70 on eBay. So a little hard to find these days. So this is the stuff about Liliana. There she is. Here's the deck list. Oh, we've got Ravenous Rats. That's going to be interesting. Alright, so that is very cool. So a lot of info there to check out. And we've got another flyer here. It's like map folding. I'm no good at that. So this is... Okay, this is more of a generic thing. So how to play. Okay, so your first game. Combat. Attacking, blocking. Bit of a combat example there. And what do we have here? Casting spells, turn order. So feel free to fast forward through this bit if it's boring you to tears. This is mainly for the newer players who want to check it out. Card types. And then a whole glossary of stuff here. 
Yep, lots of terms to know. And then we have a nice big poster here, how you lay out your game board. There's the Planeswalkers, Jace, Liliana, Chandra, Ajani, and Garrick. All right, so let's see if I can fold this any quicker than the last one. I guess not, let's chuck it aside. Okay, we'll start off, so which one is which, no idea. So we'll check them out one at a time and then I'll go through the mana base to get started, get that out of the way. Which it looks like they have it all near the front. Just double check, yep. Okay, so we get a beast token, just a single sided. And then a whole stack of forests, let's count them up. Looks like 21 forests, and then we get some non-basic lands here. Starting off with Treetop Village, it's land and this is Battlefield tapped. Tap it for green mana. Pay one and a green, it becomes a 3-3 green. Eight creature would trample until end of turn, it's still a land. So that's fun, you can turn them into creatures as well. Next we have Slippery Cast, it's land and this Battlefield tapped. Tap it for green mana, cycle it for two. And, okay, so we've got two of those, so what is that, uh, 24 total, seems about right. Okay, let's dig into the deck here, we have Windstorm, so this is an instant for X and green, deals X damage to each creature with flying. Overrun, sorcery for 5, creatures you control get plus 3, plus 3 and gain trample until end of turn, okay, pumping up the creatures. Beast Attack. Putting beast tokens onto the battlefield, you can flash back from your graveyard as well. Rude Awakening. Okay, so this is a rare. Sorcery for five, choose one. Untap all lands you control, or into end of turn lands you control, become two two creatures that are still lands. As in twine, two and a green, choose both if you pay the entwine cost. Okay, that's a good deal. Harmonize, so some card draw there. Get a couple of those. Serrated Arrows. Artifact. What is this? Enters the battlefield with three arrowhead counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep. If there are no arrowhead counters on it, sack it. Remove an arrowhead and... Okay, so you're putting minus one, minus one counters on creatures. Alright. So two of those. Invigorate. So you can have an opponent gain three life rather than pay the mana cost. If you control a forest, you can pump up your creature until end of turn. Elephant Guide, again, pumping up the creatures. When enchanted creatures put into a graveyard, put a 3-3 green elephant creature token onto the battlefield. And I have not seen... Okay, we've got an elephant token over there, it looks like. Next up, Nature's Law. So, tutoring for forests. We get two of those. Lignify, that's an interesting one. Tribal Enchantment Treefoot Aura. Enchant creature, enchanted creature is a 0-4 tree folk with no abilities. <laughs> Good way to depower the opponent. Rancor! So this one, pumping up your creatures, giving it trample. And when this is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, return it to its owner's hand. Good, so you can bounce it back. A couple of those. Giant Growth, the classic, plus three, plus three. Genju of the Cedars. That's cool, I don't think I've ever seen that one. So Enchant Forest, and you can pay two Enchant Forest, becomes a 4-4 green spirit creature, and two end of turn, it's still a land. When it's put into a graveyard, you may return it from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so again, bouncing it back. What does this dude? It's a rare Plated Slagworm. Can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. It's an 8-8 for 7. Whoa. Massive beast there. Crusan Tusker. So this guy, you can cycle it and search your library for a basic land card, put it into your hand. Indrik Stomp Howler. So this guy allows you to destroy target artifacts or enchantments. We get two of those stampeding wildebeests. We trample, 5-4, that's pretty beefy. At the beginning of your upkeep, return a green creature you control to its owner's hand. Ravenous Beeloth! Here's another rare creature beast, 4-4 for 4. four, four. Sacrifice a beast, you gain four life. Look at the chompers on that guy. Craziness, Blastoderm. So this has Shroud, can't be the target of spells or abilities. And Fading Three, what is that? 
and spread a food with three fade counters on it. The beginning of your upkeep, remove a fade counter from it. If you can't, sacrifice it. Okay. Interesting. So he gradually fades away. Get two of those. Wirewood Savage, an elf. Whenever a beast enters by the food, you may draw a card. So we get two of those. Skipping ahead here, we saw the Wild Mongrel. So discarding a card, you can give it plus one, plus one. Color of your choice until end of turn. Interesting. Two of those. Vine Trellis. Just uh, tapping it for mana. It's more of a wall type creature. Has no power but only toughness. But you could pump it up with something else, I'm sure. Two of those. Albino Troll! Yes, we have been trolled! 3-3 three, three for 2 with Echo 1 and a green. Beginning of your upkeep if this came under your control since the beginning of your last upkeep. Suck it unless you pay its Echo cost. For 1 and a green you can regenerate this bloke. So 2 of those. Basking Root Waller. So this guy you can pay the cost there. Give it plus 2, plus 2 into an another turn. Activate this ability only once each turn. And he has Madness 0. Whoa! We wouldn't expect that from a little lizard, and here is a beast token. Okay, so we get two different beast tokens. Not bad. Okay, so that is the Garrick deck. So if you're a fan of the big green stompy creatures, that could be a fun one. Okay, so we get our elephant token here. Very cool. 3-3 three, three elephant. And again, we're going to count the lands in fast forward and see what we got. Looks like 23 swamps, unless I miscounted. We also get some non basics here. Polluted Mire, it's a land and spiteful tapped. You can tap it for black mana, cycle it for two, and two of those. Okay. So there we are, similar proportion of lands, and let's see. I'm a bit of a fan of the black and red decks, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's here. This is probably the one I would pick if I was playing against somebody. And by the way, these are not standard legal, obviously, 10 years old. Um, maybe modern legal, not sure about that. But uh, yeah, let me know if you played these back in the day. What do you think? How well do they play? Starting off here, Enslave Enchantment Aura for 6 Enchant Creature. You control Enchanted Creature. Beginning of your upkeep, enchanted creature does one damage to its owner. Corrupt. So this is dealing damage equal to the number of swamps you control. You gain life equal to that damage. Craziness. Two of those. Rise from the grave. So target creature card in a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It's a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Good deal. And here's a rare. Mutilate. What is this? A whole storm of beasts here, sorcery for four, all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. For each swamp you control, nice. So that could do a lot of damage late in the game. Tendrils of Corruption! Does X damage to target creature and you gain X life where X is the number of swamps you control. Okay, so the number of swamps are coming into play here, two of those. Snuff out with Liliana, instant for four. If you control a swamp, you may pay 4 life rather than pay this mana cost. Destroy target non-black creature, it can't be regenerated. That includes green beasts. Hideous end! Instant for 3. Destroy target non-black creature, its controller loses 2 life. Icor Slick. What the heck? Sorcery for 3. Target creature gets minus 3, minus 3 into end of turn. Cycle up for 2. It has madness 3 in a black. <laughs> Vicious Hunger! Sorcery for two, do was two damage to target creature and you gain two life. Sign in blood! Drawing cards, losing life there. Seems like a fair trade. Another rare, Bad Moon. Enchantment for two. Black creatures get plus one, plus one, yes! I bet this would be good in an EDH deck. Genju of the Fens? What the... Enchantment Aura for a single black Enchant Swamp. Pay 2 into end of turn, Enchanted Swamp becomes a 2-2 two -two black spirit creature with black. This creature gets plus 1 plus 1 into end of turn, it's still a land. And when Enchanted Swamp is put into a graveyard, you may return Genju of the Fens from your graveyard to your hand. I'm loving the artwork in this black one in particular. Some crazy cards here. Skeletal Vampire. This is a rare creature. Vampire Skeleton! 3-3 three, three for 6. 
With flying, when it enters the battlefield, put two 1-1 one, one black back creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield for three and two black. Sack a bat, put two 1-1 one, one black back creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield. Sack a bat, regenerate skeletal vampire. Okay, so sacking bats is a common thing with that one. Twisted Abomination. So this is a fairly beefy dude. 5-3 for 6. Pay a black. Regenerate it. Swamp Cycle for 2. So we get 2 of those. Keening Banshee with flying. When it enters battlefield, target creature gets minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. Good removal there. Another Banshee. Howling Banshee. When it enters battlefield, each player loses 3 life. That includes you. And that could also be a fun one in EDH. Fairy Macabre. Creature Fairy Rogue. Ooh, 2-2 two, two for 3 with flying. Discard it. Exile up to 2 target cards from graveyards. Wall of Bone with Defender. 1-4 for 3. Pay a black. Regenerate it. Skeleton Wall. Pretty cool. Urborg Siphon Mage. So 2 and a black. Tap. Discard card. Each other player loses 2 life. You gain life equal to the life. Lost this way. Some more great artwork here. Phyrexian Rager, Creature Horror. 2-2 two, two for 3. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you lose 1 life. Okay, we get 2 of those. What is this? Oh, this guy. I've seen him before. I'm not sure if I've seen this artwork though. Fleshbag Marauder, Creature Zombie Warrior. 3-1 three, for 3. When he enters the battlefield, each player sacks a creature. Okay, big bag of flesh and the ravenous rats, yes. Big rat fan here. Creature rat, 1-1 one, one for 2. When it enters battlefield, tag opponent, discards card. Drudge skeletons. Pay a black, regenerate it. 1-1 one, one for 2. Isn't that an older card? Going back to, like, beta or unlimited or something. Vampire bats. Creature bat, 0-1 for a single black. Has flying, pay a black. Give it plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Activate the spell no more than twice each turn. So we've got a couple of bats there. Ghost Lit Stalker. Creature Spirit. One, one for a single black. Pay four and a black. Tap. Target player discards two cards. Activate the spell only any time you could cast a sorcery. And it has channel. Five and two black. Discard it. Target player discards four cards. Activate the spell only any time you could cast a sorcery. Two of those. Death Greeter. What a charming name. Creature Human Shaman. 1-1 one, one for a single black. Whenever another creature is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may gain one life. Okay, so there we go. So that is the black deck. I must say, I'm very fond of this one. Looks pretty cool. We've got the bats, skeletons, rats. Life gain, life loss. A lot of flying creatures. Enchanting Swamps, that's pretty cool. Some removal, dealing damage. So yeah, looks like a nice package here. So let me know in the comments what you think of these. Did you play these back in the day? Which one did you think was the strongest or was your favorite? And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.